Well, the scale is one inch to one foot or one twelve scale. Once you start working in miniatures, your mind just clicks that way. So the style of the house is mid-century modern and I was attracted to that because I grew up in a mid-century modern home in Omaha, Nebraska that my parents built in the early, early 60s. Mid-century modern, I feel, has a lot of Danish influences. Everything's very asymmetrical, kind of weird angles, vaulted ceilings. People think of avocado green and gold and camels and browns, and so the interior of the house reflects a lot of that. Well, we started building prior to the pandemic, and the main house was not complete once COVID hit but we had decided pre-COVID to construct a lower level. It's a garage, furnace room, laundry room, and a paneled man cave. And so that was executed, built, and completed all during COVID. And then the upper house was completed during COVID. There are miniature floorings like that that are actually printed on a hard cardstock paper, but all our floors are individual pieces. The kitchen is linoleum pieces. These come in a strip, but they're real asphalt, so they kind of shed, you know, like a real asphalt roof will initially on a home. Um, my husband did all the electrical wiring but he was instrumental. I say he was the contractor and the electrician and I was definitely the painter and I did all the hard surfaces. For me, it's just my design background and I love how I can use that in a small scale. So whatever I can envision, you can really recreate it.